Hi everyone. In this section, we will discuss JavaScript classes. Before we start any discussion about classes, I would like to mention a term called OOP that is OOPS or Object Oriented Programming. There is also a very famous term called OOJS that is referred to as Object Oriented JavaScript. As long as the objects concept is concerned, we have already seen in one of our previous tutorial called Object Literal Basics, where we are focusing on terminologies like properties, methods, members, and dot operator as well. The only difference between an object of object literal and a class is that a class object can have multiple instances and that we will see in a moment. In the newer version of JavaScript, that is ES6 onwards, we have a keyword called class to create a class. In older version, a function itself used to create a class called constructor function. We will also see the older way at a later stage. But at the moment, we are beginning with the ES6 syntax. So let's create the class. I will say class product. Then I'm going to write a constructor. Constructor is a fixed method name. If I do not give, then it won't get called. But if we have mentioned the constructor, it will be automatically called when we create the object of the class with a new keyword, which we will see in a moment. But let's display a message here that constructor called. Now here I'm using the this object and creating two members. I'm creating actually two properties. One is the P code, which I assign 101. And the next is P name, where I say Apple. Remember, we have already discussed that functions placed inside objects or classes are called as methods. So I am creating one more method also saying get data and I display console.log. Now what I want is I want to display the value of P code and P name. So I'll say this dot P code comma this dot P name. That's it. So now we have created a class where we have three total members out of three, two are properties and one is a method. Now I'm going to create the instance of this class. I'll say const obj is equal to new product. Now if I just write this line, let's say I don't write anything and if I run it, then at least the constructor will be called. Let's run this. As you see that because the object is created it has called the constructor. So we see the message constructor called, but that's not enough. What we want is we want to get the data also. So let's say I write one more line here. I'll say obj dot get data and we run the code. So now we have the data value as well. Let's try to create two objects. Now I will say const obj one is equal to new product and const obj2 is equal to new product. Now let's call get data using these two objects. I'll say obj1 dot get data and obj2 dot get data. Let's run the code. As you can see that both the times when get data is called, it is the same data getting displayed. What if we want to pass different data sets, then we can use the parameter passing in constructors. How do we do that? We'll prepare the constructor for two values to receive. So I'll say P code comma P name, which I will assign here instead of fixed values. And at the time of creating the constructor, we will pass the data. Let's run the code now. Now you see that we have the apple and orange that is both the data sets we are getting. So this is how we create a class and we are creating multiple instances. In this particular example, what exactly is happening? Let's try to understand using a figure. So what actually is happening that we have created a class called product. So assume that this is a section where we have members like P code and P name, and we have a method called get data here at the moment. When the class is created, there is no value assigned. But when you create the object, let's say obj1, that's the first object you have created. And because the object 
receives all the members of the class that means it has p code and p name and here while creating the object when the constructor is called you are passing the data that is 101 and apple same is the case with the new object that is obj2 and this will also have similarly product code and product name with different data set so we have the constructor here when we say that new the data which we pass that we are assigning respectively again there is a new object created and we are assigning the data so here we have this class as a blueprint of the object and this is the actual object we have created and we are creating object from the class this is what happens internally once you know how to create a class using ESX I mentioned in the video earlier that there was another way of creating a class when we were using ES5 though it is not useful but let's have a look at it how we used to create a class in ES5 as I mentioned there we do not use the class keyword because we did not have it but we use the function keyword so let's say I create a function the same example I'm going to take so I'll say function product and because it is called as constructor function we do not have anything called constructor separately we directly take those members so let's say this dot p code equals to 101 and this dot product name that is p name is equal to i give apple so this is just a normal function which you see in javascript so the trick is how do you call this function if you call the function with the name itself like this then this is a normal function but the moment you call the function with a syntax like this for example var obj equals to new product then this function behaves as a class if I want to add the method I can write this dot get data which is a function then equals to I will assign an anonymous function and here I can say console dot log this dot p code and this dot p name now let's try to call the get data method so let's run the code and here we have the data so this was the older way of creating a class but now we have class keywords so we do not have to worry there are many other options we can implement using class like we have a static class provision we can also implement inheritance that we are going to see in our forthcoming sections